नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम वेलकम टू योर ऑन चैनल ए सी एस ट्रो एंड वीकली हॉरोस्कोप दिस इज दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट वीकली हॉरोस्कोप वीक स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर टू सेवन ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर हाउ इट गोइंग्स टू हैपन फॉर ऑल द ट्वेल्व सिनिट्स लेट्स वेलकम आकाश चौहान जी फाइनली फ्रॉम कैलगरी कैनेडा यस रोहित जी आई हैव लैंडेड बैक इन कैनेडा आई एम बैक and uh, today let's start with the 1st september to 7th september horoscope for all the 12 signs uh, and also a good announcement about special hindi classes that is starting from 13th of september uh, 13th of september yes this month 13 days to go so enroll asap uh, 9885080 is the number uh, where you will be learning vedic astrology in hindi as well as analyzing your charts on the go so all the best for every session and people september 1 moon enters into leo the moon is in progression from its own house a uh, very good time for uh, relationships especially in the romantic side also very good time for children who are into education uh, moon and sun are together it is going to be an amavasya so that means you have to make sure that if any pitra puja you want to do anything that has to do offering to your ancestors this is a very good day for that in fact to start something very new on amavasya is also recommended now it will be like how do we start something new so moon also starts a new journey from amavasya it starts going up and up and up and up so that's why in amavasya also some of the sadhanas some of the mantra chantings like you know if you want to do any 10000 japs of rahu 11000 japs of ketu xyz this is all being whenever you go to some priest they will tell you to start during an amavasya and you know end during an amavasya this is how it is supposed to be done so good time for uh, education also um fifth house is amavasya where sun is going to make moon combust so what happens whenever sun and moon are in close conjunction uh, anyone who comes very close to sun suddenly it's complete blackout and that is what combustion is all about other planets get combust moon gets completely into an eclipse so uh, good time for ancestors secondly moon enters into virgo as well september 4th now when moon enters into virgo it is actually sitting with an debilitated um, venus plus ketu sixth house health wise absolutely careful here very very careful also workplace by is very extreme careful because whenever ketu and moon will be together you will make some headless decisions in your workplace and that can create a little bit of challenge for you okay then later mercury enters into leo now mercury is finally not retrograde it enters into leo very very good position for mercury to be here the third house lord in the fifth house the and mercury is at the 6th house lord it is getting into exaltation very very soon so that is why it is a very very awesome uh, placement of mercury as soon as mercury enters into the 6th house it will be niche bhang raj yog so that is another good benefit for you so a lot of good things again in education in startups those who want to do startups now this is a very good time to initiate things okay this week all the best and then moon enters into libra now moon is the if you see the fourth house lot fourth from itself those who are thinking of buying a second property those who have lot of issues going on in uh, you know in their marriage in their relationships now this is a positive time for you where you may experience a great great news in terms of relationships getting better those who are trying to buy any property very nice for them and mother's health fourth from the fourth okay like happiness from mother is also seen during this time so all the best for all the aries ascendant people there's a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments and subscribe i have seen that is aries people are no longer interested in subscription so so subscribe so that at least we get motivation all the best and special hindi classes by rohit ji starting on 13th of september 2024 so make the most of it learn vedic astrology in hindi as well as there will be uh, sessions where you will be able to understand about your chart as well so all the best taurus ascendant people now taurus ascendant rising sign is uh, you know where right now brahaspati that means jupiter is sitting and uh, aspecting your 5th 7th and 9th house that means 110% taurus ascendant people will be going into higher learning this year because both the house of education the 5th and the 9th are active now here this week moon enters into leo and that is the 4th house for you and making an amavasya okay now moon entering into leo is not 
problem at all. Even if it gets combust, that is not a problem. But you know what happens during this time? This is the time of Pitra Puja, like serving your ancestors. So this is the time whenever Amavasya happens. So September 1st till September, you know, September 2nd is going to be an Amavasya, proper Amavasya. So that is the day you should be giving some donations out to, you know, for your ancestors, giving some kind of, um, how do I say, uh, giving some kind of food items, you know, uh, in some temple. That is how it should be done during this day. But it's coming in the fourth house of real estate. If you can avoid making any decision or signing any papers for real estate, it will be much uh, appreciated during this time because it is moon and sun together. Amavasya completely blacked out in that house. Uh, health of mother has to be taken care of as well. Then later, moon enters into Virgo, into the fifth house where Ketu is sitting and currently Venus is debilitated. Now, Venus is the Lagna lot debilitated. That means the Lagna is debilitated. You can be having a little bit of rift in your romantic life, some kind of up and down, suddenly some kind of, uh, you know, feeling that, you know, there is some kind of problem in the relationship area, detachment in the relationship area. Uh, Education-wise also, those who are in learning, those who are studying, Jupiter, uh, Jupiter is giving an aspect here, but still, Moon in transit is more powerful here. So it is going to create a little bit of challenge in uh, education also. So very careful during this time. Then Mercury enters into Leo. Finally, Mercury is in progression. The second house lot in the fourth house. This is the time. Now you can sign any paper. Go, uh, go ahead for your... Uh, you know, anything related to real estate, anything related to vehicles, anything related to do with your land, property, home, renovations, X, Y, Z, everything related to your home can be taken care of during this time. And then moon enters into Libra. Now moon here is the third house lot going into the sixth house. That means extremely careful in your workplace about any kind of communication that you make. I know this will be a weekend, but still, weekend we meet friends from, you know, our colleagues from your workplaces. Very sure about not to do any gossip, anything, because it can be used against you. Moon is going to get debilitated next week, beginning of the week. Moon is going to be debilitated. So that's why we have to be extremely careful here during this time. Even for health, we have to be making sure that a uh, neck can be a problem. There can be indication that you may get neck pain or, you know, you'll have to go to some kind of uh, surgery or some kind of, uh, what do you say, small stitches. These kind of things can happen for Taurus Ascendant people. Overall, uh, a very balanced week. So make the most of it. There's a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments. And those who are watching the video for the first time, do subscribe. Be a part of us. We do this every week. Learn astrology with Rohit Ji. Special Hindi classes starting from 13th of September. Enroll now. The number is 9885080070 or just in the link in the description. Click on it. You will come and you will be able to enroll in the classes. All the best. Gemini ascendant people. So when we talk about Gemini ascendant people, moon enters into Leo. Now here Leo is the third house. That means Mercury has given uh, moon, uh, Mercury has given Sun the third house of extreme hard work because it does not rely on its own uh, what is a judgment. It is always relied on the king. So that's why third house where king is residing in the third house with moon. Now this is going to get into an Amavasya. Now remember Amavasya happens, a little bit of challenge happens. And this challenge is especially because your mind is not in control. Sun will completely combust it. Now what happens here is that this is the house that is specially related to your siblings, your communication. So these are the two areas, sibling communication as well as your small social network. That means whatever you write on social media is all about the third house. Make sure during this time, don't be completely very overwhelmed or do something which can create a little bit of challenge for you in the future, like writing something which you never can take back. Also, fighting with your siblings or short distance travel should be avoided at uh, every cost from September 1st to September 4th. September 4th onwards, do whatever you want. But these three days, you have to be extremely careful in terms of every personal interest that you have, every small distance travel siblings your social media or your writing signing any contracts it should be avoided later moon enters into virgo now this is another challenge but still moon is in kendra so no problem second house lord in kendra now moon is an extreme maraka here sitting with ketu can create again some kind of headless the you know the home environment can become a little bit of challenging so this is where you have to be careful and especially for your mother those who are mother are in a little bit of challenge or you know very sick may have a very difficult time during this time maybe you know extreme difficult time 
because of a debilitated venus as well as ketu so moon is completely afflicted here in kendra okay so very careful about them if any one requires any medical attention that is what you should be like any mother of yours uh, requires medical attention immediately it should be brought into consideration then mercury enters into leo now those who are going through mercury mahadasha antadasha superb time for you but those who are not going through mercury mahadasha antadasha here again the lord of the lagna is in the third house remember lord of the lagna in third house extreme hardships and this hardships will come in the area related to your communication mercury is in is it not in very bad place but mercury is with sun it is going to get combust very soon so that is another challenge that mercury will face now signing of contracts and all if you have done uh, i think you know this is not the week to sign anything at all like not to sign any major things just avoid it and bring it to the next week that is what i would suggest later uh, also uh, before i move to moon short distance travel also should be avoided at every cost because it is not a very pleasant time for uh, gemini ascendant people this week then finally moon enters into the fifth house the second house lord in the fifth house there is going to be some kind of wealth indication that you get some kind of monetary benefit that you get or uh, also um, because of your children and because of your family members you might have to spend some money but you will be able to gain it back so uh, finally end of the week things becomes little bit of positive but overall gemini a careful week for gemini and people all the best there is a whatsapp uh, uh, link in the description and those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe rohit ji starting special hindi classes from 13th of september 2024 enroll now learn astrology from the vedas as well as analyze your chart cancer ascendant people cancer ascendant people good uh, you know if you see in your chart 11th house has brahaspati now aspecting your fourth house making real estate aspecting your uh, you know fifth house sorry aspecting your third house aspecting your fifth house and aspecting your seventh house so these are the three aspects where uh, brahaspati is aspecting and especially the seventh aspect on the fifth house is a very very good news cordial relationships happen you know this is the time i have seen a lot of cancer resident people to get into new relationships get into love like get into lot of happiness so like growth in the area related to their love love life becomes very very nice moon entering into leo moon is entering into amavasya okay september 1st it will enter september 2nd is when amavasya is there so amavasya means completely black out so what happens your mind is completely into darkness what is second house second house is the house of wealth second house is house of family second house is house of speech so where do we need to control in investments in anything related to do with um, what you say speech anything that has to do with you know speaking out somewhere or going and confronting someone this is what you should be avoiding and third well being of family during this time family dispute or you know fighting with family should be avoided at every cost then moon enters into virgo the moon here goes to the third house of communication and sits here with ketu and uh, uh, you know venus so sometimes what happens so this is a scenario very kind of scenario sometimes we get into a verbal fight then we want to make it you know official so we write it down right so many mails and you know what not so this is what should be avoided during this time because both the houses of communication the speech as well as the written communication are affected short distance travel may create a little bit of challenge for you absolutely jupiter is aspecting this house but still moon is more powerful with k three three planets and jupiter alone so jupiter will take little bit of time to adjust here otherwise ketu and moon are more powerful here and then uh, also sibling wise we have to be careful you know to make communication with the sibling because ketu is here we can make some headless comment or you know communication or write something on whatsapp and it can come back on us okay mercury in direct motion now enters the second house the third uh, uh, if you see the 12th house lord and the 6th house lord is in the uh, and the third house lord is in the second house 12th house is house of losses house of expenses third house is house of lot of extreme hard work and personal interest some also consider that third house is also the house of education because this is where your communi- your 
you know what is the the third house the third house is your subconscious mind communicating the 12th house is the subconscious mind the third house is the subconscious mind communicating to you so we can see how powerful your um, third house can be or your subconscious mind communication with yourself can be anyways mercury entering into the second house is telling that this is the time if again we want to consider anything about investing something or you know going to a foreign country short distance travel everything should be avoided because the third house is lord is sitting 12th from itself and the 12th house lord is sitting third from itself so it will bring hardships in foreign country as well as long distance travel family wise also we have to be careful mercury here is not malefic but mercury here is not in comfortable position it will get combust very soon create lot of problem finally moon enters into libra lagna lord fourth from itself brings happiness peace so this weekend onwards everything is very very nice but this week is a challenging week because of amavasya during amavasya do lot of pitra puja lot of um uh, what you say serve your ancestors try to do some donations in their name in some temple mosque in in gurdwara in church wherever possible give something back to the universe okay all the best what's happening in the description and uh, those who want appointments uh, everything is below and uh, those who are watching for the first time do subscribe and rohit is starting special hindi classes from 13th of september 2024 so make the most of it and uh, once you enroll you will learn with astrology from the vedas as well as you will also um, you know be able to analyze your chart on the go you know with all of the people on the group to understand how what what your planets are how they are placed and what not all the best leo ascendant people moon is entering into leo here into the ascendant and ascendant is where there is going to be a grahana september 1st onwards very like september 1st to 4th extremely careful leo ascendant people do lot of donations during this time please go out uh, go to the temple go to the gurdwara go to the mosque go to the church wherever you wherever you have religious faith in and try to give something back and that can be for your ancestors because whenever there is amavasya it is good time to do pitra puja and uh, pitra lok is very active ascendant moon with sun uh, 12th house lord in the ascendant it means that here you may create some kind of issues or problems which can create a loss for you so what you need to do is during this time from 1st september till 4th don't make any big decisions that can create losses for you okay because you will be responsible for it ascendant has uh, the grahana that means you yourself in your first house you have the grahan so this is important not to do any kind of uh, decisions secondly moon enters into the second house now here also investments big investments for long term should be avoided you should not be doing investments for a long term because that can again create a challenge for you so absolutely silent from 1st september till 6 september like this whole week is not about investments not about making big decisions okay finally mercury enters into leo now this is a time that little bit of monetary benefit start you will start seeing from 4th of september you will see some money flowing in the money that was completely stuck you were completely into the area relate or you know completely into an um status where you were thinking that no money is being made nothing is coming everything is just like so monotonous here something will start improving because mercury is going towards its exaltation so things will start picking up in terms of your communication in terms of your uh, gains in terms of your family life things will start picking up here and then finally moon enters into libra 12th house lord into the third house now long distance travel can be happening you may be planning during 6th of september that there is going to be some long distance travel also very good day for spiritual beginnings because the what is the third house third house is the house of personal interest and what is the lord sitting the 12th house lord is sitting in the third house now 12th house is all about spirituality starting a routine starting something very positively and here as soon as moon enters into libra you can start begin something very positive spiritually also uh, in canada during this time september 6 it will be ganesh chaturthi so i know in india it is 7th in canada it is 6th so make the most of it happy ganesh chaturthi to everyone all the best This week is all about caution in the beginning, and in the end of the week, you will start getting a little bit of relief after fourth of September. But initially, very caution, very much caution because of the Amavasya. 
All the best. Uh, there is a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments and Rohit ji special Hindi classes starting from 13th of September 2024. Link is in description. Also, learn from the Vedas and also analyze your chart on the go. So, all the best. Virgo ascendant people, moon enters into Leo now. Now here moon is the 11th house, a lot of gains, getting in the 12th house. So here this means that there can be, uh, and also not entering into the 12th house, but also getting into an Amavasya. This is the time that 11th house, that is your social circle, big groups. You can feel a little bit of disconnected or isolated from such groups. There may be complete emptiness you will be very very isolated during this time there can also be possibility that you may start a spiritual beginning a lot of virgo ascendant people will start some spiritual sadhana during this time because it's a complete reset and a sun and moon both in the 12th house okay now reset and they will come to the first house very soon so a complete reset now what you need to do during this time another uh, important thing is 12th house whenever especially for virgo ascendant people it is an absolute potent time to do pitra sadhana anything to do for the pitras is extremely extremely important for virgo ascendant people so that means donation towards pitra or going to some temple mosque church you know any place of religious importance for you whatever you, religion you believe to does not matter do some donations, give back to the universe. This is what is required during this day from September 2nd, absolutely. 2nd September is what you should be doing. Then moon enters into ascendant, 11th house lord in the lagna, you may start seeing some kind of positive, uh, you know, uh, what you say, positive gains from the isolated part, you may start coming out of isolation. But here, because you were afflicted, you were into a lot of mind games, Muketu is sitting with moon. This is the house of your brain. You may do some kind of, uh, you may take some kind of un, un, what you say, headless decision. That is what happens when Ketu and moon are together. Headless decision. So absolutely careful during this time, okay? Not to make any kind of headless decision, not to get into any kind of arguments, not to get any kind of arguments in big circle also, like in big social circles, because moon is the lord of the 11th. That is big social circles. It also means your social media. Don't write anything stupid there so that you can get, you know, backfire. Something backfires on you. Finally, Mercury in uh, a direct motion enters into the 12th house very soon going towards its exaltation. Uh, Mercury here is the lord of the 10th house in the 12th house. So foreign opportunities for uh, career is going to open up for all the Virgo ascendant people. Also, uh, there is a chance of long distance travel during this time. Expenses during this time is going to happen. And moon entered into Libra, again a relief. Exactly the 11th house lord and the second house, uh, 11th house lord in the second house means dhan yoga. So end of the month, end of the week, sorry, you may expect some kind of dhan, some kind of money, monetary benefit, some kind of investments coming up. I'll tell you, Roji, one uh, very special event. So I was talking to one of the clients. I told her, uh, that you know you're going to get some kind of uh, she's in Singapore I told you you'll get some kind of benefit in monetary she's like far far away I cannot see any monetary benefit far far away what, what are you talking about this that I said okay there is a yoga that is happening maybe you find something in your in your locker or in your in your one of your pocket you find some hundred dollars bill there but some monetary benefit is coming she uh, the appointment happened ended and everything and few days later samantha uh, like she got a mess samantha got a message and she put it on the excel that this is follow-up and i read and she wrote that sir you told that there will be some kind of monetary benefit i did not believe you in for at first and this and that and she sent me a photo of a check she said the government owed me like sixty two thousand uh, dollars singaporean and i got a check suddenly out of nowhere and after three years and i'm like see whenever yoga happens it happens so sometimes such kind of yoga happen I'll give you another small example. I was walking on the road and I found a $20 bill. And I was like, a gain is a gain. It does not mean $20 or it does not mean $200,000. It means gain is a gain. That you got something speculatively without any, uh, you know, without prior notice. I went and saw. I also saw my moon was in the fifth house. 
uh, exactly i am leo ascendant my moon is 12th house lord i was in the 5th house i said speculative gain today but it was just 20 dollars so sometimes you know small 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 things we have to be taking now those virgo ascendant who are waiting for big you know big monetary gains some big contracts to be signed some big um, uh, investments to turn up into positivity everything this is the exact yoga that is happening for them this is how we have to see astrology gains every time there is gains but very very small amounts sometimes very small sometimes very large depending on how what is your scale at the moment is when your gains happen okay all the best Virgo ascendant people good gains family life very very nice uh, 11th house lord in the second house always a very positive uh, very positive omen all the best take care have a wonderful week and those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe and there's a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments uh, special hindi classes by rohit ji starting 13th of september 2024 where you will learn astrology from the vedas as well as you will learn more about your own chart in discussions with rohit ji so make the most of it enroll asap libra ascendant people one of the most awesome ascendants moon entering into leo into the 11th house making a grand here now this is the house of very large social circles and this is the house this is the time of isolation you will feel sort of isolated and very good to be isolated during this time this is the time to completely get into you know what you say devotion towards your ancestors whenever in once a month whenever the uh, uh, amavasya that is the new moon happens that is the time you should be completely devoted towards charity this is an indication of charity this is the time when it says that pitra loka the loka where your ancestors are the the realm where your ancestors are is very active so this is the time that for any religious place you know it's a mosque it's a temple it's a gurdwara it's a church wherever give back in some way or the other to the universe and especially donation of food is very very good in fact donating food to even some of a very uh, what you say uh, how do i say uh, Underprivileged person is also very, very required during this time. Par, another thing that is happening is that uh, uh, Moon is, if you see Moon is the 10th house lord in the 11th house. So there will be gains in your, uh, in your uh, profession, career life, there is going to be gains. But absolutely very careful from a very large circle. This is the time of a lot of uh, Nazar Dosha, that means evil eye. You know, because you're going to get gain and you know in social circle people will say why this person always gets gains so this kind of thing so that's why I do be a little bit of spiritual during this time and another indication is moon entering into the 12th house where ketu is where uh, what you say venus is also debilitated right now lagna lord 12th from itself debilitated this is the time to go into your subconscious mind try to be very spiritual try to connect with the higher self and try to understand a real meaning of life moon here coming giving you more Oh, there can be challenges, huh, by the way. So some people who are going through Moon Mahadesha will gain. Some people who are going through Mercury or Ketu and Moon or Venus and Moon, any any combination of the 12th house people sitting, that is Ketu, Venus, Mercury and Moon may also lose something. Like they may lose their job because Moon is absolutely the 10th house Lord. So there is another challenge here as well. Uh, there is some expenses that is coming to you that is going to be too much expenses is coming to you this week so you know try to be as spiritual as devoted towards uh, you know lord as well as you know this is a time to be completely into spiritual uh, you dive into spirituality this is what i would say ketu only can surrender in front of spirituality there is no other place but ketu can surrender okay then Mercury enters into Leo. Now Mercury is the 12th house lord, exactly 12th from itself. Again tells you that expenses in a foreign country. Either you're going for a conference, either there can be possibility of you going to meet your siblings, or either there is going to be some expenses related to sibling. Something, some expenses are coming for Libra ascendant people this week. But because uh, uh, it is also the ninth house lord in the 11th house, that means your destiny will be supporting you. You will be completely courageous to do every possible thing that is coming your way. Finally, moon enters into Libra, the Kendra lord in the Kendra, in a most positive place. Here happiness comes, you will be happy. End of the week, whatever ups and downs happens in the weekend, you will take a sigh and say that okay yes man everything is positive no worries so struggle is there but solution is also there and happiness is also there 
those who are trying for new jobs, those who are thinking of getting into uh, new roles or getting into promotions, this is also possible during this time. Uh, new interviews may come and you may be able to crack it as well because remember, Rahu is in the sixth house. So there is nothing that is impossible for Libra Ascendant people in competition. Every competition they can win during this time. Look at uh, Saturn. It is retrograde in the fifth house. That means it is telling you to rework on your creativity. Okay, Make the most of this week. I know beginning of the week is a little bit challenging, but then later it is going to be a very peaceful, peaceful ending, happy ending. Okay, all the best, take care. And those who are watching the video for the first time, do subscribe, thank you. And there is a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments. You can click and then we can talk about your chart in detail. Learn Astrology with Rohit Ji starting 13th of September 2024. Enroll now and special Hindi classes by Rohit Ji. Make the most of this and uh, all the best. Uh, you will learn from the Vedas as well as you'll be able to understand your chart. And day by day, you will be understanding your chart, that why these planets are like this, why I'm getting this kind of results, what are the solutions for it. All the best. Enroll ASAP. Scorpio Ascendant people. Here, when we talk about Scorpio Ascendant, look at Moon. Moon is the ninth house Lord and entering into the 10th house. That means this is the time that you have to be careful in terms of your career. Now, why? You know, the ninth house Lord is in progression, but it is entering into a Amavasya. That means we will completely get into combust mode. It is not a malefic position for Moon, but it is a powerless position for Moon. That means your destiny will be powerless. Here, your karma will be shining. So that means those who are going through this long run where they say, oh, my destiny is working for me, right? My destiny is positive for me. No. Now, this is the time that hard work will be seen. They will see that, okay, you have not done anything. So hard work, very, very extremely hard work is important during this time. Also, because this is the time when Amavasya Yoga is happening in your Kendra. So extremely important for you to do Pitra Upasana. That means any religious place of your choice, you can go and do dumb donations like you know some food, anything, whatever you desire for your Pitras, for your ancestors and pray. Sometimes, you know, we have to give that message to the universe that, okay, this today I'm doing this donation for my ancestors. May they be happy and may I be prosperous, simple. And you will see the benefits this whole month. Every month do this whenever there is Amavasya. Then Moon enters into Virgo, the ninth house Lord in the 11th house. Now your destiny starts working, but still here in long, big setups, in big groups, you may do something very headless. Your Venus is debilitated. On the other hand, your Moon and Ketu are sitting together. So this is another Grahan Yoga. When Moon and Ketu are together, this is the time you make headless decisions. And this 11th house is the house of big social circles, as well as your um, your goals, you may not be able to approach your goals in the right manner that you're supposed to. So I would just say that patience and a lot of spiritual, a lot of meditation, a lot of focus is required during this time. And that can only come through sadhana, through meditation, through concentration. There is one more thing, Rohitji, which I was learning. You know, from childhood, when we are in school, the teacher or everyone says, concentrate, concentrate on this, concentrate on this, right? But no one teaches how to concentrate. Only Sanatan Dharam has the power of teaching how to concentrate. And that is why meditation comes into play. Small, small kids who are into Gurukul, those who go into learning uh, of Gurukul, they sit down every day. They do meditation. They do mantra chanting. This is all to make the concentration power higher. So only meditation, only sitting and in cross leg position with Dhyana Mudra can make you powerful in terms of your meditative area. Okay. So this is the time of not to make any big statements in very larger groups. Even your office larger groups. Don't try to be funny here. It can be working against you. Good time for education, but good time for starting new ventures, educational ventures. So good time. Then Mercury in direct motion enters into the Kendra, into the 10th house, the 8th house Lord in the 10th house. In fact, uh, if you see Mercury is the 11th house Lord is in the 10th house. There is going to be some kind of sudden gains in your career. 
career wise some very positive news is coming september of 4th for all the scholars um, and amidst of you being very quiet in the beginning of the week then career wise you hear very positive very nice news in the time of uh, when mercury enters into this house sun will enter into the 11th house there will be rashi parivartan so many things happening so all the best and then moon enters into the 12th house 9th house lord in the 12th house foreign travel those who are awaiting foreign travel news of foreign travel visas extensions those who are waiting some green cards everything is in your place you may be traveling to foreign countries there may be in fact if you see uh, on overall level foreign countries there but gains from partnership can you see the 7th house it has absolutely jupiter power jupiter is the lord of the second house that means gains from partnership fifth house speculative gains from partnership everything is this year man very very awesome time for scorpio sun and people to make the most of it you are the most powerful person in the world scorpio ascendant have that hidden aspect to them which is very positive by the way you know they will not do any harm to other people unless and until they are being agitated what a scorpion does scorpion will even walk over you but if you try to do any harm to it it will bite you same way this sting very dangerous but very very calm people scorpio ascendant so all the best appointments link below and those who want to uh, subscribe please subscribe Learn astrology with Rohit Ji. Special Hindi class is starting on 13th of September. Enroll now. Nine triple eight five zero eight zero seven zero. Link is in description, as well as you can just. Uh, uh, so the more positive thing about this is to learn astrology in a very very awesome Vedic manner, as well as analyzing your chart on the go. So it's such a beautiful thing that is going to happen. So all the best. Sagittarius ascendant people. Uh, when we talk about Sagittarius, Moon is entering into the ninth house. The ninth house is the house of destiny, and this is the place where there is an amavasya. That means a complete blackout that is happening in the ninth house. See, Sun is so powerful. Just imagine, Sun. The ninth house Lord is so powerful that anyone who comes into close conjunction with Sun goes completely black. So that is why we say that whenever we uh, Sun is the visible God, that's why we should always be praying to Sun because we don't want to come very close to him and completely get. Like we also want to make him calm and say thank you, thank you for always being there, the the provider of power for the soul. That's why it is called Atma Karka of the world. It is the soul significator, sun, and moon is the mind significator. So your soul will be strong, but your mind will not be strong during this week, the beginning of the week. That is why you have to be absolutely careful about your mind, not to go into wrong directions, not to get into conflict with father or fatherly figures, even your teachers, not to get into any manipulative state related to psychology or phys, uh, uh, what you say, what you say uh, about your religion also, not to be very fanatic during this time. But a very good time, 9th house is the house of dharma. This is the time of your dharma to serve your ancestors. Those, the, the DNA, the genes that you carry, the lineage that you carry, this is the time to give a little bit of respect to them. This is Amavasya. Go to a place of religious importance and try to do some donation there. Try to do some kind of seva there. This is important during this time for your destiny to be calmer. Then moon enters into Virgo, into the 10th house. Again, a challenging period because moon is making a conjunction with Ketu and a debilitated uh, Venus. Career-wise, absolutely careful because this is the time that I don't want to say it, but it is whatever is there is there. Those who are going through Mercury, Ketu, J uh, Venus or moon, Mahadasha or Antardasha may experience job losses or may experience some kind of um, challenge. Those who are going through other Mahadashas, challenge is lesser there on their plate. But those who are going to Ketu, Venus, Moon, you know, this is the time that they may feel a little bit of overwhelmed in their career and may either resign or may either get a letter. Oh, that thank you so much. It is possible. See, Jupiter is trying to save you by putting the fifth aspect on 10th house. But, you know, three planets are more powerful than one Jupiter. Okay. So absolutely careful in your, um, in your career area not to make any mess, not to try to be any evil, not to try to be... Uh, come into illusion and try to make comments about other people, nothing at all. Very silent week should be followed. Then Mercury enters into Leo. Moon is still in the 10th house. Okay, Mercury entering into Leo here. Mercury is the Kendra Lord. Both the Kendra Lord coming to the 9th house is an indication that somewhere destiny will work for you. So destiny-wise, there can be a positive thing that you can see. 
that man uh, even in this last state somewhere i am saved so those who are getting into job loss make a job loss but at least they will get severance like good money and those who are at the verge of losing their job may get some what you say uh, a warning and they will be there this is moon and ketu moon and ketu together is ending of things so this is the house of career ending of career this is ending of some kind of work ending of karma is there so it can be good also and bad also so depends on your current dasha and dasha but it is a challenging time for all the people then finally moon enters into libra the 8th house lord is in the uh, 11th house so there is going to be some kind of again gains your social network your social circle will help you during this time your younger elder siblings will help you during this time you may also get help from some uh, unexpected sources also because 8th house lord in the 11th house some unexpected something some divine help is also possible like someone god puts you into your life like this chess that okay this is the person that will help you suddenly you will encounter someone from a very uh, this is also the time to do socializing so do a lot of socializing during this time try to go and meet people okay so all the bit sagittarius ascendant people i know it's a little bit of challenging but this is how it is the whole week for everyone because of amavasya so uh, try to be careful all the best uh, those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe and there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments thank you Learn astrology with Rohit Ji, starting thirteenth of September, twenty twenty-four. Special Hindi classes. Link is in description, and uh, you will not only learn from the Vedas, but also be able to analyze your own chart on the go. So all the best. Capricorn ascendant people. When we talk about Capricorn ascendant people, Moon is entering into Leo. Now Moon is entering into the eighth house, the seventh house, Lord in the eighth house. This means gains from partnership. But what is happening in the eighth house? This is the house of occult knowledge, house of sudden ups and downs, accidents, fears, and this is where the Amavasya is happening. The eclipse is happening, for example. Now what should be done? This is the time to do Pitra Sadhana. Anything to do with Pitra, anything to do with Pitra Puja. Second of September is when you should be doing Pitra Puja or Pitra Sadhana. Some kind of offering to the Pitra, some kind of uh, you know donations in the temple or any religious organization that you are connected to is important. Um, during this time, also we have to remember that sudden accidents can happen. So very careful in driving. In driving, sudden accidents can happen. But uh, because both the luminaries are in the eighth house, this house is not only bad. This house is good also. Sudden speculative gains can also happen. Suddenly you see a spike in your income. Suddenly you see a spike in your share market. Suddenly you see a spike in your what we say uh, some money coming through inheritance or some money coming through some kind of partnership. So it's that's also possible. So both ways we have to be ready for things. Then finally, Moon enters into the ninth house. It has left the eighth house. Of sudden things and getting the ninth house of bhagya, but this is the time that your bhagya will not be working for you because again moon is with Ketu. Rift in relationships, rift in partnerships can happen. Higher education wise, there can be some cheating that can happen to you. So absolutely careful in taking any kind of courses, any kind of things, and paying any money somewhere. Uh, there can be such indication that can create some kind of monetary loss also. Are the yoga karaka of your chart is debilitated at the moment. So not to make any decisions in higher education or foreign country, not to go, not to think about going in that place at this moment. Later, Mercury enters into uh, Leo, into the sixth house, making a Vipreet Raj Yoga. That means long-term illness, what was going on, can get rebuilt or relief because Mercury finally is in position of direct direct motion as well as it is getting into the 8th house ending all the barriers for the 6th house. So a positive news for health. Health wise some beautiful thing is going to happen to you. Then finally moon is entering into Kendra. 7th house lord exactly forth from itself. That means happiness in your relationships, in your partnerships. Happiness is there as well as there can be positivity in terms of your uh, career. Career growth is seen here. So Career-wise, you'll be absolutely invincible during this time. Whenever the 7th house, Lord, the, in Capricorn Ascendant people, whenever Moon is going into the 10th house, it's awesome news for the career. Like, beautiful news for the career. Awesome. Good communication is coming your way because Venus, on the other hand, is putting an exalted aspect on the 3rd house. 
which is the house of communication so some good communication for your career is coming during this time so all the best capricorn ascendant people uh, there's a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments and those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe also there is hindi classes special hindi classes by rohit ji starting 13th of september 2024 enroll asap 9885080070 link is in description all the classes are going to be in indian standard time so make the most of it all the best Aquarius ascendant people. So moon is entering into Leo. Now, here when we see moon, the position of moon, moon is the sixth house lord. That means moon is always related to hardships here. And moon entering into the house of, into the seventh house and making a grahan there. That means absolutely careful in where, which place? In places related to relationships. Seventh house is business and personal, both relations. That means spouse also. And your business partner also everything is comes under the domain of seventh house when such kind of grahan happens it is important if you are a believer in business like together you should be doing a, a pitra puja together like you know you should be all coming collectively and trying to please your ancestors by giving some kind of donations in any religious organization or place or anywhere who's any someone who's less fortunate and requires some help you can do that secondly a husband and wife, a spouse, shall also come together during this time and try to do pitra sadhana together, like with each other. Like go, like make a make a unit and go there and do pitra sadhana. This is important for all the Aquarius ascendant people. Remember, both the luminaries, that means both the light giving uh, planets, are in the seventh house here. So, what does this mean? This means that there can be a little bit of argument problems in your relationship as well. So, try to avoid it. Try to avoid any kind of uh, what you say, any kind of hidden things in your life. Because what's happening is that moon is entering into the eighth house of hidden things, and where Ketu is sitting with moon. So, Ketu is a very naughty kind of planet. You know, it is a, it is what will it do? It is always brings things from the past. Ketu, the main role of Ketu is to bring things from the past. Here, moon is coming with Ketu. So emotionally, things can come from the past that, okay, you did this to me that time. That is why I'm angry on you. So such kind of instances should be avoided because exactly all the planets, they, they lead to situations through their transits. Okay. Eighth house is where your spiritual and occult, your subconscious, your sixth sense will be absolutely active during this period. Absolutely, it will be at the, at the peak. In fact, there is going to be a, another thing here. Very careful about accidents. There can be speculative gains because see, look at Mars. Mars is the fourth aspect of Mars is on the eighth house. Whenever fifth house and eighth house will have any kind of combination, and especially Moon and Mars will have any kind of combination. Mahalakshmi will come. So speculative gain is happening, but also because Mars is a cruel planet. It's just a, what we call it is a, a malefic. It can create accidents also. So daydreaming, your subconscious mind is too active. Your daydreaming can lead to accidents or some kind of sudden events where you have to be careful. Then Moon uh, Mercury finally enters into Leo. Now Mercury here is the Lord of the eighth house, exactly twelfth from itself. I told you there can be sudden ups and downs and losses through sudden ups and downs, also accidents. And here completely indication that eighth house Lord is twelfth from itself. That means because of sudden things, you may have to spend some money, and that can be on your partner as well. So careful. But in the Kendra, Mercury comes here and restores your communication. So at least the problem, the rift, the trouble that you had between yourself related to communication will solve. Finally, Moon is saying, I am entering into Libra. The sixth house Lord is in the ninth house. That means in workplace, in your discipline, in health, everywhere, your destiny will give you a lot of support and you may make beautiful progress during this time. Okay, all the best Aquarius Ascendant people. This is an extremely important, important week for you to do Pitra Sadhana, to do any kind of thing to do with pleasing your ancestors. Remember, you are a DNA of them. Thousands, millions of years, your ancestors are regenerating, you know, and you are coming in existence only because of their DNA. So sometimes just say thank you to them. That is how we have to work on it. Learn Astrology with Rohit Ji. Classes starting 13th of September 2024. Special Hindi classes. Uh, enroll ASAP. That means now. And also 
not only learn astrology but also learn about your birth chart the placement of planets in your birth chart how they are placed and what kind of results you can expect in the future everything all the best pisces ascendant people now another uh, thing about pisces ascendant i was doing one appointment roji where i saw one pisces ascendant person i think most of the pisces ascendant people i have met either they are in medical they are doctors or either they are in teaching like some kind of very intellectual work this is what pisces ascendant are because jupiter is so awesome you know it 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 is knows almost all the shastra so that means it will make you someone elite only this is what pisces ascendant people are the moon is entering into leo here into the 6th house 5th house lord in the 6th house that means because of speculation you can even get into debt so not to take any debt for speculative uh, uh, you know investments not to take any kind of debt extremely important for you sixth house is also the house of health house of your workplace where the grahana where the amavasya is happening so absolutely careful in these areas now sixth house is also the house of your uh, what you say um, enemies this is the time that your mind is going to be weak your soul is going to be powerful your mind is going to be weak so enemies can attack over you so absolutely careful in that enemy enemy aspect don't let any kind of window for enemy to attack you that is why this is the time of non communication like zero communication this is the time to be absolutely quiet and say nothing just just watch and do pitra puja like during this time go to some religious organization or religious temple church mosque whatever wherever you have faith go there and do some kind of uh, some kind of give back to the society through whatever means you have for your ancestors give in the prayers just say that okay thank you ancestor for big bringing our whole generation our whole lineage to this existence thank you and this is for all the past people who have contributed in my body which i have today so this is important then later uh, also in the workplace don't try to be very smart your mind is not in control so you should be absolutely careful during this time in your workplace uh, when we talk about moon entering into the 7th house here uh, into virgo with a debilitated uh, uh, what you say uh, debilitated venus as, as well as ketu again relationship by 7th house is house of pure relationships where it can see a little bit of rift you can do some kind of headless activities which can and you will be responsible for it okay there will be no one else responsible for it you will be responsible in the love life also there will be a lot of struggle because see the 5th house lord is sitting third from itself so a lot of struggle in the love life in this area also is possible so in relationship try to keep an open communication or try to be silent so this is the week of being silent till now i think silence is important uh till now till the moon entering into virgo finally when mercury enters into leo this is the time that okay you know it is in progression very progression towards exaltation so that means little bit of challenges in the area related to your uh, relationship as well as enemies will be taken care of health will become better so things are going to help you uh, any problem or anything that you have to achieve from a legal place that is either court either police station either anything government related legal stuff where you receive services you may receive something in your favor as well so good news for pisces ascendant people moving on uh, moon is entering into the 8th house now this is a extreme awesome period na, by the way like end of the week is awesome again things begin very awesomely because see the 5th house lord is in the 8th house i keep saying 5th and 8th has to come into consideration for speculative gains like good sudden gains so this is a time of sudden gains but remember moon is still a very benefic planet sitting in the 8th house which is a dushtana is not an absolute beautiful place for moon to be so here subconsciously or intuitively you can make wrong decision where you have to be very careful about this week is a basically a caution week and because of the amavasya the effect of amavasya is very strong you know very strong on people so it is going to be there you know continuation after amavasya moon is entering with ketu then it is entering to the 8th house so the dushtana maraka and dushtana <clears throat> dushtana maraka dushtana this is where moon is going so you have to be careful with your mind uh, you know it is traveling through all the negative places of your birth chart putra puja at priority this will give you all the blessings that is required all the best make the most 
positive decisions and those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe and there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments and rohit ji is starting special hindi classes so make the most of it classes starting on 13th of september 2024 9885080070 is the number for enrollment uh, with learning from the vedas also you will learn about your own chart in detail all the best thank you rohit ji thank you everyone for watching all the best Thank you, Akash Thank you very much for uh, detailed analysis and thanks to all the family members of ACS Pro. And, uh, you know, please subscribe to the channel if you have not still subscribed and share this video. And for consultations, details are on the screen. And also there is a link in the description box. Click connect. You will be directly connected with team and you will have video consultation with Akash Ji. Thank you to all the family members and thank you, Akash Ji. We'll meet you in some next video. Till then, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Hanuman, Jai Mahal, Om Namah Shivaya, Jai Mahal,